A scientist is to DNA test the waters of Loch Ness in another bit to determine once and for all if Nessie exists. Professor Neil Gemmell will look for traces of unusual DNA by gathering water samples from the Scottish Loch before analyzing them using police forensic techniques. Professor Gemmell of New Zealand's University of Otago thinks this could solve the monster mystery. He said, We use environmental DNA to monitor marine biodiversity. From a few liters of water we can detect thousands of species. All large organisms lose cells as they move through their environment. New genomic technology is sensitive enough to pick this up and we can use comparisons to databases that span the majority of known living things. If there was anything unusual in the lock these DNA tools would be likely to pick up that evidence. Nessie researcher Roland Watson, 54, said he was not aware of anyone doing a DNA test before. But he added, there are some monster supporters that would not care about the result because they believe it is something paranormal and so wouldn't expect to see any DNA. Naturalist Adrian Shine is the leader of the Loch Ness Project and has carried out fieldwork on the Loch for a host of universities and researchers since 1973. He said he and his team could potentially help gather samples for the study. He said, I would be very interested in the results. We would certainly be able to help getting samples. Steve Feltham has spent 26 years trying to solve the mystery from his base on the shores of the Loch. He said, if anyone thinks they can identify it, bring them on. Anything that gives us more knowledge is to be welcomed. Steve also said that he wouldn't give up his hunt even if the study suggested there was nothing there. He said, I can guarantee you someone would see something the next day. Doors Community Council Chairwoman Ella McRae said she would be interested in the study but said the results won't change the popularity of the myth. She said, the mystery will still be spoken about in decades to come when the study is done. I don't think they will ever get to the bottom of it.